only on six tonight, a violent confrontation between an MMA fighter and a South Florida officer. This is Michael Nates, who ended up badly hurting in the hospital. His mother says that police should have handled the situation differently. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jackie Nesprall. And I'm Jawan Strader. Thank you for joining us. His mother tells NBC6 that her son has mental health issues. NBC6 investigator Willard Shepard is live in Hialeah with the exclusive details on what led to this brawl. Willard. Well, Jackie, uh, this woman uh, who we just spoke with, uh, she is telling us that uh, her son is a well-respected uh, man in the uh, circles of the uh, martial arts community here in South Florida. He was actually the state wrestling champion here from uh, Hialeah High. However, he's being charged with some serious felonies, uh, batteries on uh, law enforcement officers, also attempted kidnapping. This altercation between uh, him and police, his mother says it was all about his mental health and that the officers should have done a much better job and de-escalated the situation. Here's a photo of Michael Nates taken before his encounter with police. And this is what he looks like now. He's at Jackson Memorial Hospital, taken there after police say he struck an officer, tried to take another's weapon, and kept fighting them even after being tased. His family says police hurt him badly on Sunday night. My son is being severely beat. Uh, he has um, a puncture lung, uh, he has possible meningitis, and he's full of bruises, and his arms are completely swelled up. Nate's mother says she didn't even know where to find him. And I even went to the morgue like two or three times looking to see he was dead or alive. Before being brought to police headquarters, police say Sunday, Nate's was here in the 5400 block of Northwest 4th Avenue, where they say he tried to kidnap a little girl and got into a fight with the adult who was there with her. Police say when he was being processed, he started fighting, and it took 12 officers to finally restrain him. Initially, we had no idea what this man's background was. That is why these are the things that we're faced up against each and every day. Little do we know that this man has some sort of background in martial arts. Clearly, we saw that that's what happened when the officers attempted to take him into custody. Nate's attorney told us that police could have prevented all of this from happening. He was having a psychotic episode, and instead of treating it as such, they didn't. They escalated the situation to the point where now we have a boy that's been in ICU for three days, going on four. Now, police uh, say that uh, there was no way for them to know what this man's uh, mental state was. They were simply dealing with the uh, violence that was there in front of them at that particular point. They say even did a lot of damage inside this booking area, breaking glass and these types of things at the police department. One officer was also uh, sent to the hospital, transported by uh, paramedics. We checked. Uh, Mr. Nates has absolutely no uh, criminal history at all. And actually, uh, this is the ultimate irony in all of this. His family says... He he actually trains little kids in martial arts and trains police officers, too, in self-defense. We're live tonight at Hialeah. Willard Shepard, NBC6 News.